Hello everybody, oh, welcome back. Um, in this uh, session, I'm just gonna talk about uh, Fibonacci series uh, sequence and uh, how to implement that in the uh, RISC V assembly. So first I will briefly talk about this uh, Fibonacci numbers or sequence. And uh, so it's nothing but, uh, it, this can be represented in an uh, uh, equation like this, like f of n is the sum of the previous two numbers, where f of 0 is 0 and f of 1 is 1, and the number of Fibonacci uh, sequence, at least the n should be greater than 1. And uh, if you just, this is for the, uh, the tile representation, so you can see how Fibonacci sequence grow so if this is one and one size this is like a one cross one uh, square and uh, this would be like some of these two so this would be like a two and this is a three that's how it grows okay and uh, it's it's very easy to implement in uh, risk five assembly so if you see here so this is the same equation uh, you can uh, so instead of f i am using the term t here because uh, what i'm gonna do is what i'm doing here is so you know that risk phi has uh, temporary registers uh, t0 t1 and t2 so this uh, t0 i'm just gonna store the n minus 2 the value and uh, T1, I'm just going to store the n minus uh, 1 to value, and T2 would be the T2 register would hold the sum of the last two values. Okay, so this is the register assignment in this example, and uh, this is just the macro to give the length of the sequence, uh, how many numbers we want. And uh, you know that this uh, assembly file uh, doesn't have the support to print the value. So what I'm going to just do is write the results starting from a memory location of uh, 8001 followed by three zeros. And from this um, memory onwards, uh, the Fibonacci, Fibonacci uh, numbers would be written. Oh, then uh, the length would be the sequence length whatever is given here okay so as i said before uh, these registers would hold these uh, fibonacci numbers and uh, these two sequence length and that destination memory i'm just gonna store it in a1 and a2 registers okay so let's uh, get into the code now so i'm loading a zero and a one because uh, if you see the of Fibonacci uh, numbers. So the first two values uh, should be 0 and 1. So I'm just uh, starting with uh, 0, uh, loading 0 and 1 in this at T0 and T1 registers. And uh, A1 has the sequence length, so branch less than or equal to 0. So if this A1 value is uh, less than or equal to 0, then keep looping it ju just jumps into the infinite loop so we can't do anything with the there is no that you cannot generate a Fibonacci number where if the sequence length is a zero and if it is uh, greater than or equal to one that means that our very first value is zero so store the uh, t0 and the address held in a2 with the offset zero so T0 would be written to this first address and then or decrement the count um, or the decrement the sequence length. And if uh, it, it goes next, and again, if the length is just one, we have already finished, then just go to the um, infinite looping. So I, in, I keep this uh, infinite looping always just for safety so that the execution don't get away from here. Okay, and uh, for if it is greater than or equal to two, then it would come here. So, so the next value is already there in T1, which would be one. 
so that value is uh, so what is that so the address the destination address has to be incremented by four because if you see here I'm storing as a word that means word is 32 bits in uh, rest file so increment the address and store the next value t1 which is one here and decrement the sequence length okay and uh, now if it is greater than or equal to 3 that is when the t2 comes into picture so t2 is uh, generated from t0 and t1 we add the previous two numbers and uh, increment the address and uh, store into the destination address and here uh, we have to swap so like after t2 is written then t2 value should be moved into uh, t1 and t1 value should be moved into t0 so the previous two values should always be held in t0 and t1 so that happens here so move so t1 is moved to t0 first then t2 is moved to t1 and decrement the count and if the uh, sequence length if the length is reached uh, then get away into the infinite loop otherwise jump back into this fibonacci fibonacci label and repeat until you get the uh, length you want okay i'm just gonna build and see how it goes now first i just want to connect to my board just assemble this first so anytime you don't know uh, if you need help on this uh, assembler options you can just go ahead and type this so this would give you the options here so and I don't want any attributes of risk phi Sorry, it's not AVI, it's the arc. Or if there's any other C, okay. So let me compile that. Sorry, I'll link it now. D. Link up, and here we give the format input file format as ELF32. I find little Indian with risk five. And generate the ELF. Okay. So the GDB session is established. I see this, it's already loading from, I'll just uh, reset the board. Give me a minute, guys, since I ran before, it's starting from the Just reset her so control C.
you know, yeah, this is the uh, reset point and I have loaded the code and tested before once. That's when, that's why it was showing as. Yes. Now I can load the code and uh, so now, yeah, start a resistance. Let me keep a breakpoint in. Okay, so the execution has uh, reached this. Let's see. So this is the address. So you can, in the GDB, either you can display or examine a memory of format. So since that is size 10, so I want to view 10 into W word size from the memory location of this. Okay, so you can see here those, this is the uh, 10 words from this memory location. So you can see clearly that these are all the values. So 0, 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, then 2 plus 1, 3, yeah. So let's try with 50. Maybe, I don't know, I'll try 20. So let's examine slash GW. So three, eight, thirteen plus two times thirty four, forty five, eighty nine, yeah. So that's it. So, so it's, it's very simple. So now you can go ahead and implement your own version. Okay, and thank you very much. See you in the next session.